At noon, we got Central Michigan, who's 1-1, one one, traveling to Illinois, who's 2-0. Illinois favored by 18.5 points on Peacock. Joe LaBasse went 38-63, through 493 yards, 5 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. Miles Bailey has had 17 carries for 122 yards and 2 touchdowns on the ground. And Solomon Davis had 7 catches for 118 yards and 2 touchdowns. Luke Altmeyer has gone 35-49, through 405 yards, 4 touchdowns, 0 interceptions. Caden Feagan set 32 carries for 148 yards and two touchdowns. And Pat Bryant had eight catches for 133 yards and two touchdowns. Central Michigan is 0-0 against Illinois. They've never played before. Um, both these teams are coming off very different weeks. Um, Central Michigan's coming off an absolutely disappointing performance against Florida International. And while we don't know how good Florida International is, they've only played two football games, one against Indiana and one against Central Michigan. I think a lot of people are expecting Florida International to not be great, I think is the baseline assumption. And so getting your ass kicked by Florida International is a rough one for the Chippewas. Illinois is coming off a very different week, though, in a game where you were underdogs on home field against a ranked Kansas team. Brett Bielema's team found a way to win a football game. And it's just what kind of what Brett Bielema's done so far at Illinois. A lot of people, they had a rough year last year. They went 5-7. and seven. But a lot of people forget, outside of the Kansas and Penn State games, all of those games were very winnable football games Illinois just barely came out on the bottom of. And so normally, that eventually flops around, right? Like, when you lose a lot of close ones in one year, you normally win some close ones the next one. Whenever you win some close ones, many close ones, you normally don't win, get that lucky the next year. Um, but Illinois... Illinois played a hell of a game against Kansas, and they came out on top of it, and you've got to be impressed if you're an Illinois team fan. I honestly thought they would be ranked this week. I understand why they're not. Um, there were, there's a lot of teams I think could be ranked in the top 25 right now. Illinois is one of them. I think they're a top 25 football team. At least they're playing like one. Um, Illinois is a good football team. They are. I think they're a team that is going to be really interesting to watch this year. They have a hard schedule. I will not... Why? Well, I, I think it's hard for me to imagine them winning a whole bunch of their football games. They played Penn State in a little bit. So, um, I really like, Illinois is a good football team, and Central Michigan is not a great one. And so, I, I, it's Illinois, right? Like, and I, this is a great get-ready game. You're going to enter the Big Ten schedule soon. You're going to play a lot of tough football teams if you're Illinois. Your defense is going to have to play really well because your offense isn't as high caliber as the other teams. But you still have a shot. You're still a really good football team. And I like the fighting the line out here. To win and cover at home is a great get-right game for them heading into a rough schedule.